<laughs> Straight to Diddy Kong, okay. Yeah, respect, respect. The first themed match we've had. Uh, that is on theme. Of some nature, yeah, on on, on the on, on our block of the Kong Saga stream. And we got Woom Woom, who, I don't know, maybe maybe an actual OG Splatoon fan based on the tag, like. I feel it. You gotta be careful, like, I remember, you saw, you know, I was at Seam, I had to play Best Ness in Philippines, actually the best player in Philippines, named Cyforce. Mm -hmm. And I was so scared. I immediately knew any Ness player that named themselves Cyforce, you know they're an Earthbound fan. That means they've been playing Ness for 15 years. Mm, yeah. So the, you know they got some tricks up their sleeve. They, Obviously, they... you can't play Inkling for quite as long because, you know, a character new to Ultimate, but they got that character love. Mm -hmm. So you got to respect it. That means that they know all the tricks. Right. They know yeah. all the tricks. They're not just trying to play the, 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 the top tier, you know. They, they love the character. They want to explore them. I mean, that being said, Rivers is in complete control of this game. Complete control. Like, entirely. Already 100% over uh, Woom Woom. And just doing such a good job getting around, like, Woom's attempts to swat at him, right? Like, a lot yeah. of this is these empty jumps where he's just jumping around the hitbox, then Ooh. coming down with one of Diddy's great aerials. Yeah. That was a really, really interesting trap there. Uh, it looked like Woom Woom kind of, like, air dodged on the stage. <laughs> really and that's so much damage, actually. <laughs> oh my god, gets to pick up with the side B. Where's he going? It, it's so funny because it looks really disrespectful, but it's actually a fantastic decision. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah. so much damage did. Ooh, that could have been a jab lock. Up throw, fair. So much damage, bro. No jump. Oh, that's, you gotta be ready for it at this point. Yeah, that's so, because like that's such a long-lasting hitbox right by the ledge as well. Yeah. Uh, and Woom Woom there too, definitely could have lived if you rollered instead of, he did the panic up B. Oh, right, yeah. So, you know, that's that's not a good sign. Like, you want to like, you can't just like, you got to react. You got to react to what's happening on the screen. Mm -hmm. Even if you feel a certain type of way, you got to let your eyes do the talking first. Beautifully said, so. Thank you, guys. All right. Oh, he tried to, yeah, tried to do that up. He had a shield again. Go for a little bit of a ride. Take you for a ride. That's <laughs> uh, Woom's turn to put on some ledge pressure as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, River sneaks out once again. Still stuck on that platform. Woom Woom doing a great job just sharking under with the up airs. Yeah. Yeah, that banana, it looks like Woom Woom. I mean, kind of just kind of running into it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Don't think that's going to KO. Would have been Smash 4. <laughs> Actually, it barely wouldn't have in Smash 4. That move was still pretty weak. You think so? Even with the Rage? Yeah, even with the Rage. I've right. seen Diddy survive that move oh. at like 140. But yeah. There's the tech that time. There's the tech. That's what we like to see. The adaptation. Mm hmm. We're almost KOing there with Max Rage from the uh, Moom Oh! Perry on the roller, up smash, out of it. What a message that Just sends. For good measure. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, because that was what you mentioned. It's like, hey, like, try rollering off stage. Don't necessarily go com uh, committing into the up B every time, and then immediately just gets parried yeah. <laughs> on the way back to the stage. Because uh, otherwise, that's like the risk reward on that is pretty good of uh, rollering back on. Especially if you get your opponent like prepping too early for a ledge trap and they don't have their shield up, and then you get a stock for it. Yeah, it's interesting because roller will actually have an active hitbox if the opponent is on the ground. Uh, Pretty sure this is how it works. If the opponent's standing on the ground and you're coming from the air, mm -hmm. you won't ground them, but you'll hit them, right? There's a, there's a, oh, there's okay. a hitbox. But the funny thing is, if they're in the air, it doesn't have a hitbox. So if you jump into that sort of situation as the opponent, you won't get hit. And so you get like a free easy punish or whatever. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't like, know that. Roller doesn't connect at all with you if you're in the air. Anyway, we've got Smashville. Mm -hmm. uh, much smaller stage. Much smaller uh, stage, yeah. Nice, nice middle platform, too, for Inkling. Up throw up our combo is really, really easy here to get oh. like, you know, max damage. Yeah. Yeah. Because that, that looked to be like the, the part of the stage that uh, Woman was most comfortable with was juggling like from beneath the platform and stuff. So this ha maximizes the chances that will come together again. Makes sense. We just have uh, shorter side blast ones here, but uh, Woom Woom was having trouble off stage anyway, so like that doesn't really hurt him. Doesn't, that's true, that's true. And there were some kills off the top, you know, so mm. a bit, little bit less of a factor. Definitely want to see more grab attempts from Woom Woom, though. I feel like uh, that's how Inkling kind of gets a lot of the early percent dam uh, damage, or early stock damage. Kind of the squirrel effect. Oh my god. <laughs> he, just, yeah. he just took a rocket ship to Mars <laughs> on a collision course with Woom Woom. Oh, I like the attempt. I like the attempt. That but was actually the, the nice thing about going for that roller is it throws off the. So if they're looking for a parry on your nair bear, they let their shield up for the parry, and then you get that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or, or it looks like you might be going for like a, a tomahawk instead or something, right? right so right, like right. maybe they try to the spot dodge, let the empty jump up. grab, right. and then they get grounded. Exactly. Like. It covers all the co it covers everything except hold shield. Yeah. Right. So. All right. Well. uh... 
potential for, there it is, yeah. Forward air, definitely gonna KO at the ledge. Here's the ledge trap. Ooh. That is just kind of spicy, yeah. Doesn't quite get the punish on the roll get up. It looks uh. like Rivers was trying to look for it. Uh, but he anti airs, and no, still not killing. That move is still weak. Still weak, man. You know, Woman was worried about landing on the banana there. I was like, is he gonna. Okay. I'm understandably so, right? Because that's, that's essentially what Rivers is really leaning on for his kills. At least on stage. Right, right. Yeah, we'll definitely play neutral a little bit better this game, but I still feel like just kind of not getting the confirms. Like, he'll land a backer, but then not have the the wherewithal to follow it up. That was a nice dash back uh, F smash, though, and now with some ledge pressure. Mm hmm. Tries to get in the way of the recovery, just a little bit too high. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that side B there. Could have called that an air dodge, you know, stay in shield. A lot of common options that, that would have uh, connected on. We're seeing a t Ooh. Oh, there we go. Once again, that exact same setup, right? Empty jump in front of his shield and catch anything because you're not going to... Nobody wants to stay blocking against Inkling in that situation. Right, right, right. You're like, I'm tired of getting bared. <laughs> I'm tired of all this this uh, this frame safe... Poke that can, like, eventually kill me. Yeah. Nice reaction there. The classic lead trap. No banana needed. No banana necessary. Okay, those are some... some very important aerials for women to be hitting, though. And this is, like, looking doable. Looking definitely doable. I mean, the, the way this neutral's been paying out is, like, Wumum just kind of jumps at Rivers, and Rivers just waits and swats him out of the air, like, right. over and over again. So, like, I like to see Wumum, like, slow it down a little bit just because he's also at, like, 150%, so one of those swats will actually start oh, killing that. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. The banana, man. It started with the banana and ended with the banana here at Kongo Saga. That definitely felt like the number one deficiency was like lack of, I don't know, 